tentacles. Uh oh. I want to play a game with you. Hey everybody, welcome once again to Black Mesa, where I am in the pits of Zen. And it is time once again to move on. Alright. <laughs> well, I don't know what I was shooting at, considering all I had to do was jump in there. It's almost as if I forgot that I had the long fall boot. That can't be. I obviously have a perfect memory and I never forget anything. Didn't you know that? Ah, that's a that's a lovely little leap that definitely didn't slide against the side there. Oh well, at least it got it up. Oh jeez. That time it just failed completely. Too bad you can't use the... I was gonna say, too bad you can't use the long boot when you're already in the air. Apparently you can only do it when you're jumping. So when you're initiating the jump, you can use it, but when you're being boosted by a pad, you can't use it. Real shame, isn't it? Oh, that's magical. What even is that? Oh, okay, it's a combine. It's an HE, no, not combine, it's an HEV zombie. What's this? Oh, okay. That's nice. I found power. We're gonna bring you power. But now where am I supposed to go? That way? Oh, crap. Kamikaze drones. 12 o'clock. And every other o'clock possible. Oh, that's real nice. I don't know what that was, but I blew it up. And blowing things up is its own reward. Hello. Hey. Screw you, man. I wonder what these boots do to fall damage. Maybe it works like the portal boots. Nah. I think I still do take fall damage, unfortunately. Ah! Well, that's convenient. I didn't have to look anywhere. This just conveniently does it for me. Hey, buddy. Unfortunately, the rapid fire does not home in on enemies. That's the drawback. You want rapid fire, you know, get home in shots. You have to actually aim. I know, it's tragic, isn't it? Wait, they're fighting each other. That's peculiar. It seems even the aliens hate each other. Yeah, see? Although, in this case, not homing on might work to my advantage. Because that's a bigger threat. Bigger threat than the zombies, anyway. Because it actually has a long-ranged attack. Ah, uh, go straight to hell. Thanks, Pumpkin. Really appreciate it. Okay. Okay, you can go to L2. Both of you can go. Straight into the pits of Hades. Wow. I was gonna say all I did was anger it, but I'm pretty sure I just made its AI freak out. It's panicking. It's going, no, 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 no. Gordon Freeman, no. Gordon Freeman, yes! <laughs> hey, buddy. I know you didn't technically attack me yet, but you will. I'm preemptively attacking you, mother fricker. Track down that alien and kill it. Actually, it did attack me. And then it tried to walk away from the whole situation. What a coward. I'll show it what happens when you try to get away from the battlefield. After having drawn first blood. You'll die a horrible death. A coward's death at that. You coward. How do you feel? Oh, jeez. Retreat. Crap. Quick! Run away from the fight that I started! Okay, it's dead. Not the big surprise. Luckily, 
Their acid isn't so fast at long distances. Well, nothing technically is, but you get my point. I believe it got my point. <laughs> what the? Oh, okay. No. That did not work at all. I'm going to have to rethink this. At my earliest convenience. Okay, there we go. Just barely got on there. Where is that thing? Oh, it was this way and I jumped down. Oops. It was the other way. My bad. At least I don't have to fight the aliens again. And at least their acid seems to have nullified by now. So, I have to go up there. How peculiar. So I was going the wrong way all along. My bad. Or was I? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be going over there. It just doesn't seem proper, you know? Maybe I'm supposed to go right there. I mean, it is of a lower incline, so... I'll just fall down here instead. Because, you know, that's a thing. That's certainly a thing I just did. God knows why, but, you know. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I'm guessing that's not it either. Okay, let's try to do this properly this time. Oh, there we go. Just barely made it. I get the feeling that's where I was supposed to go. Okay, since it wasn't on the other side, it's obviously this way. Go figure. Whoa, okay. Guess I probably should not have done that. Oops. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, this heals me. It's all coming back to me now. Okay, what about this one? This seems to still have power going through it. Was I supposed to let that one propel me to somewhere else? Because I have no thinking clue. Wait a minute. I already took care of that one. Why is it, uh... Or, wait, no, I didn't. It was a different one. My bad. Power, That's nice. Oh, I see. These are organic mines. Yep. Uh, I did not know that that would... <laughs> I guess I should have realized that would happen, huh? It's just like before. Before I got this bug weapon. The obstacle that you had to go through in order to get this bug weapon. Well, at least now I get to see what happens if you stay the course and don't deviate from it. Hooray. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh. You just end up right here. Fair enough. I had no chance from the start. It was hopeless from the very beginning. Now then. Unless I'm mistaken, I went this way. Let's try that again. And this time, not be such an idiot about it. Power, That's good. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get at, I'm not going to be able to blow up those in a way that allows me to escape, which means I have to be able to avoid them, which I'm not doing such a good job of now, am I? Force detonation is not going to be my friend here. And I'm guessing the reason why there was a membrane that you had to fall on was so that you couldn't just drop a grenade down here or something. You're not getting out of this one, Moonchacho. You gotta do it the proper way. Ugh. Their proper way is my demise. At least you can jump on these things. It does make it a little bit easier. At first. And then they're gonna get more and more cheeky, aren't they? Yeah, they usually are. This is easy mode right here. But now it's gonna get into hard mode. Oh, you little freak. Damn have crabs. Always here to provoke me. And blow themselves up and me with them because they're stupid and they have no sense of self-preservation. Which is to my detriment as well. 
Get out of life, you little mooks. You want to die so badly, I'll be happy to, to expedite the frickin' process, man. I blowed up again. Come on, quit blowing me up. Come on, you little bastard. Okay, there we go. What the hell just happened? Please tell me that that didn't get into an infinite loop because some head crab somewhere decided it wanted to play hugs. Oh, you have got to be effing kidding me right now. You have got to be effing kidding me. I don't even know what the hell happened there. Maybe a head crab blew up, or maybe one of my bugs decided it wanted to play hug with a gland mine. Who knows? All I know is... Hang tight real quick. That was a lot more trouble than it was worth, but at least I finally got past it now. Note to self, when I'm going through things like that, never use the bug gun. Although I could probably use it now without any problems. Never mind. Okay, good. I've gotten far enough away from it that it doesn't matter if I blow stuff up. In fact, just to prove my point, I'm going to forcefully detonate it now. Huh. What do you think of that, you little sucker? I detonated it all. And I'm fine. Because it ended at a certain point. Now I can't get blown up. Take that, you stupid freaking head crabs. Okay, I, still, I can still get blown up by these ones, by these stray ones. But at least I can't get blown up by the horde that was just there. Because it's no longer alive. It's already been detonated. What do you say to that? You son of a bitch. That's right, that's what I thought. You ain't saying nothing. I see. Yep. This is the video game trope. Do three of something to make something happen. And unfortunately it's on the other side of that, which means this isn't even a shortcut. Hey now. Hey now, you're a death trap. Why don't you get me up? Because this is annoying. Because it's annoying. I wish you'd just stop. Don't know why I am singing. I guess I just have no clue. Alright, let's just get this over with. What the hell? Oh, okay. That's lovely. Good thing that makes you jump so high. Dick nebbit. Don't have the momentum right. And I can't use the jump either. You son of a... You wanka. Okay, I guess I'll just settle for climbing along the vine. That'll do. That'll do, pig, that'll do. Oh, this is nice. This is real nice right here. Oh no, it's those little bugs. Here you go. Oh, jeez. Well, that was a little painful, but... I'm still alive, unlike them. Score one to Gordon Freeman! Take that, you little rodents. What do you think of me now? You freaky bugs. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get higher up. Right now, what they're thinking is, Wow, that guy's an idiot. I can't believe he killed me. I got killed by that? What does that make me? Just a lousy bug. That's what it makes you. Hey! Okay! Me? I think that's a little bit overkill, don't you think? Jeez. I did not mean to select that, but okay, whatever. Jeez. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, come on, you freaking asshole. Crap. Well, at least I have confirmed the hard way. Well, I confirmed the hard way already that head crabs are annoying little bastards, but more to the point, it would seem that this, these long jump boots actually do prevent you from taking fall damage. Or I guess at least as long as they have a charge. Oh, I don't think so, pal. You're not catching me for dinner this time. None of you are. 
In fact, I'm going to preemptively shoot you before you get a chance. What do you think of me now? I'm not even going to give you the chance to do wrong. I'm going to preemptively kill you before you can. What do you say to that? Oh, now I'm the monster. I'm not going to wait till it kills me. It's kill or be killed, baby. At least in this world it is. Actually, in nature, it's kill or be killed for the most part. Seriously. You're not going to make friends with the local, local wildlife, you know? Sentient creatures, you have a chance. Or maybe tameable animals or something like that, but in the wild, it really is kill or be killed. Oh, I already killed them. Excellent. Hey. Oh. I should probably actually check to see which ones I've already killed so that I don't waste my time. That one hasn't been killed yet. I don't even care if they're in my way anymore. I just want to kill them for the sake of killing them. Because otherwise this happens. Little bitch. I'm killing them because they might attempt to kill me in the future. Which is bad. There. It's all done. Ah, that feels so good, I would assume. Hey, you little bastard. Well, I lost all my suit power. I may as well just go for broke. Since I have regeneration right here. It would have mattered if I still had suit power, but that, that drained away really quickly now, didn't it? Unfortunately for you, that gave me no reason to hold back. Also, I think those little things might drain your suit power. So maybe I shouldn't be so lenient with them. You little freaks. You have incurred my wrath, you little freaks. What the hell was that? Seriously, what in the hell was that? What hit me? What in the world hit me? Seriously, I literally don't even know what hit me. Little bastard. Go to hell. Damn it. Little freaking head crabs. Damn it. Just hurry up and die. Screw this. You know, I was playing around earlier, but you forced me to get serious, didn't you? You forced me to do it, do you? Once again, you have chosen death at a very horrible fate. You fool. We could have had fun. I could have just shot at you with this. Wow, okay. Oh, geez, that one is tough. Or at least it does a lot to you. Aw, these aren't the ones that restore your suit power. That's a shame. What the hell is that? Okay, I guess it's just a plant. Okay, then. Freaky. Very nice. You gotta love that sound. I will learn to love that sound despite how much ear piercing it can be. Alright, you little bastard. There you go. Shoot to kill, baby. Shoot to kill. Because those little bastards sure as hell have the intention of killing me. So, why not return the favor? Why not? Huh. You're gonna slap me, huh? Not on my watch, pal. Here you go, buddy. Darn it. This is why I sometimes have to use the right click. Because sometimes the homing will actually work against me. It'll go after something that I didn't intend to go after. There you go, you little freaks. I took out your leader. 
And you still thought you could take me on. That was a big, big mistake. Seriously, what in the hell were you thinking? Well, what was I thinking? Getting near a freaking tentacle. Oh, you little bastard. You may be king of the shrimps, but you're still a freaking shrimp. Well done! You do know to know how to count. I mean, occasionally it was gonna happen. I wonder what that thing is even for, anyway. Aside from decoration. It doesn't actually restore anything of mine. Unless we're... No. I would have noticed that. Then again, I tend to not notice much. Oh, no. That one's actually draining me. Oh, jeez. There are all kinds of... Damn you. Oh, no. They're trying to push me over the, the edge. They were trying to get behind me in the ledge. What a bastard. Alright, you freak. How do you like that? I liked you guys a lot better when you were just decoration. When you weren't trying to suck me dry. And I really mean it, too. What happened to you guys? You used to be so cool. Now look at you. You used to be cool and now you're cold and stiff. Very nice. Right, okay, the ones that restore the suit's power are blue. I guess that makes sense. The orange ones are just for decoration. The blue ones, the blue ones are the good ones because they actually give you suit power. Yes. And I love it. Oh, that's nice. At least, I have confirmed as of so far that those creatures aren't hostile. That I can tell. So, for now, I shall trust them. Yeah, trust them about as far as I can throw them, right? See, they really are decoration. If they were hostile, that would have at least done damage to them. Crap, get out of the water. Get out of the water. Did you not see the damn fish, Freeman? Get the hell out of the water. Come on, man. Man, trying to get out of the water with Freeman is so freaking awkward. Here you go, buddy. Why don't you have a feast? Oh, sorry. Did I say have a feast? I meant to say my bugs have a feast on you. Be feasted on. How do you like that? Okay, screw this. Oh. You're dead now. That's nice. Excellent. I don't know why I'm being so stingy with everything. Not like it's gonna actually do me any favors, is it? I mean, just using this is a huge step up. I should only be using the alien gun when I'm either against very weak opponents that I can easily kill, like maybe the zombies, or I'm pretty much out of everything else. Well, that's nice. That's lovely. <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, those tree roots are probably another good target for that. Did you just run right past me? That I failed to shoot pretty much every round at you. We both look pretty stupid in that front. But mostly you, because you're dead. At least I lived. I lost a few rounds, but at least I'll live. You, on the other hand? No. You'll die. Oh, that was smooth. That was as smooth as crystal ice. But that's beside the point. You gotta love the atmosphere. It's all very pleasant to look at, isn't it? Although, some of the bubbling sounds are a little unpleasant. But that's beside the point. Hmm, what do we have here? Some kind of creature. It's literally just a 
blurred circle, so... You'll have to use your imagination. They're probably fireflies or something. Geronimo! Geronimo, no, no! Well, okay then. What even is that? Huh. Look at that. There's a hole down there. I wonder if that's relevant. Probably not. But hey, I can at least tell myself it's relevant to something. Even if it really isn't. Okay, I need to get the hell out. Freeman is really awkward when it comes to trying to jump out of the water. He tends to not want to. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. Hey! No, no, you get away from me. I'm not falling for the innocent appearance. The innocent act. No. You can go rot. You're the most insidious kind of enemy. The one that tries to appear friendly and harmless until you realize your suit energy is being drained. Now I understand. I just had to go over this. It wasn't about getting directly on that ledge. It was about getting past it. Obviously. What was I thinking? That's a trick question because I wasn't thinking. Ooh. I think I saw this in the trailer. Very nice. What in the hell? Tentacles. Uh-oh. It seems these things will sink into the ground. Uh, what the hell? My guns were disabled. What the hell happened? It disabled me! No! You son of a bitch! Oh, crap. Well, the... The alien gun still works, so that's a thing. Maybe I can use that. Fortunately, everything's fine. At least it is now. Jeez. Upside down octopus... freaking barnacles. That isn't freaky looking at all, is it? Jeez. Not gonna lie, though. The effects, the effects are impressive with the way the water is handled. I mean, it's not the most elaborate thing on planet Earth, but it does a really good job acting like water, at least with the sound effects actually convinces me that I'm sinking into the water. Just saying. Right. Those freaking fish. I better watch out. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Here you go, buddy. Uh, you want to be a nuisance, huh? How about this? I'll spray you with nuisances. How do you, how do you feel about that? I can always switch to something stronger if you'd prefer a faster death. What the hell? He went up so quickly that he kind of just jumped out of the water as he was dying. Eh, screw this. Here you go, buddy. How about a faster demise, huh? Take this. Take this, you freaky bastard. It's funny how that creature was referenced when Gordon Freeman was going across dimensions in Half-Life 2. When they were trying to teleport him into the lab. Eli's lab. It was an interesting callback, even if that monster didn't, well, to my knowledge, appear again. It was more or less just a cameo. A model that they made just to do a cameo with. Or maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Who knows? What the? That's suspiciously generous. I get the feeling there's going to be something powerful looking ahead. But unfortunately, I'm all out of time. So I'm going to have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. 
Make sure to spread this video around like cliffhangers. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. See you, pal. And see you too, audience. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.